Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and this is my review of Down and Out for PSVR 2 which is out now for $15 slash euros. Developed by Zatan, Down and Out is a virtual reality beat em up and I'm sad to say I didn't enjoy my time with this one at all. From the moment I started and was hit with the inability to enable smooth turning as the only options I could find were for audio, to the unsatisfying combat, brain dead enemy AI, tiny environment to explore and dazed visuals, down and out failed to impress me in any aspect and I could not even bring myself to continue playing this after about 50 minutes or so. There's a dog here. Can I crouch? And give him a rub. He seems to enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, what's your problem? So what do you do in down and out? So you'll find yourself wandering around the couple of streets that the game gives you to explore and find yourself attacked randomly by angry, ugly pedestrians while terrible fight music loops in your ear every six seconds or so. The combat in this game, which now includes new mechanics compared to earlier versions of this game that was released on different platforms, is dull. You'll often punch at your opponent only for the hits to not even register for no good reason. Blocking will fill up your rage meter to let you unleash some more powerful punches, seemingly in an effort to make you fight more intelligently, but it never makes you feel very powerful and doesn't add much besides a filter effect and some extra damage. There's also a new disarm move which lets you counter attack at the last moment but I could never even get that one to work for me. There are other objects you can pick up in the world to use as weapons like bottles and pieces of rubbish and throw them even but it's never satisfying. After a fight you'll collect some cash from your opponent and then maybe stumble upon a mission giver who can give you assignments such as defend the space while AI come at you one at a time and throw thrash at them to make them run away or there's a lost wallet in one of these five bins. Go rooting through the rubbish and find it. If you do these things, you'll be rewarded with some more cash and you can spend that cash in a couple of the enterable buildings in the game. Health drinks and gloves, seemingly the bulk of what you'll be spending your cash on. Down and Out feels like a prototype of an early virtual reality game from nine years ago. It feels and looks cheap and I find it hard to recommend to anyone, even with its relatively low $15 euro price tag. So yeah, there's not really much else I can say about Down and Out other than I do not recommend this one, sadly. Anyway, that is it for this video, lads and ladies. Before I go, let me thank my channel members for supporting me. They are the following. Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, I've never seen such behavior in the war room before. Chopped PPE, no one knows. Movemaster Mick, the Alvo World League commentator, Gamecast. Deej, the Pumpkin Patch Kid. Pete Hawkins, Crumb. Mr. 777, Superfly AF, Moonshot, Armstrong Million, Blister, 86 The Mad Hatter, Pat Leading Fox Jr., Horatio Ward, Durbin Brown, Prophecy 777, Jason Ewan, and Roy Schwartz. Thank you very much for all that channel support. If you would like to become a member too, you can do so by hitting the join button somewhere below the video. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and moist.